What up, though? Heist Man Defoe. Talk that talk, ghetto news and opinions. Man, there's a fight going on right now in the school systems between two flags. And it's between the American flag and the gay pride flag. It's because of this teacher right here. I don't know what name. Baby, you know her name? Her name is Kirsten Pitson. Kirsten Hickston. Pitson. Pitson. Pitson, whatever her name is, man. But she going at it right now because she wanting her kids in her classroom to say the Pledge of Allegiance to the American, not the American flag, but the gay pride flag. Is that right? Am I saying this right? Because I don't really know this story. I mean, I think that's the way people are perceiving it. Right. But that's not actually what happened. It's not. No, she told the children that they have the right to say the Pledge of Allegiance, not say it, stand, say it, whatever makes them feel comfortable, which I feel like is okay. That's just my personal opinion, you know. Um, but she took, during the COVID-19 epidemic, she mm-hmm. took down her American flag in her classroom right. because she felt that it was making her, it made her feel uncomfortable, which I can understand because we had a lot of turmoil in the country and... It's almost like the American flag was a, it was almost a racist statement. That yeah. Was lying. It, it was painted to be something racist like the, it is. like the, uh, what kind of flag? The Confederate flag. The Confederate flag. Don't it tread was, on me. It was being used like the Confederate flag. Yeah, I see a white man with American flag. Which it shouldn't be. Like I was telling you earlier, I'm a, I'm a product of military families. Right. And I'm, I'm proud of my military heritage. Right. And I, I, but I also felt like that. So she was joke. The, <coughs> the said they didn't feel comfortable um, just standing there saying the Pledge of Allegiance to nothing. But I'm saying, is, is it, 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 can you do that? Like, as, as, can, can you, you project that onto people? Like, you being a teacher, can you put up a, a, a gay pride flag and, like, what, what, what? Well, the kids said they were uncomfortable. Same pledge of allegiance to nothing. So she jokingly said, uh, she said first that she tried to find the flag, mm-hmm. the American flag to hang it back up. And second, she said, well, if you just want a flag to say the uh, pledge of allegiance to, you can use the gay pride flag, which. Did she have one in the classroom? Yeah, she just happened, she had one hanging up. I mean, is, is she is she allowed to do that though? Why not? It's, a, it's not. I'm saying because. I've been in plenty of classrooms when they had the flags of all nations. You know? Yeah, I'm saying them countries though. The, the gay pride flag is like something that happens in between your bedroom. Like, what well, the kids yeah, shouldn't even know nothing about that. It's an orientation. I mean, it's it's present all over in the world. Right, right. But I'm saying, okay. It's part. It's part of the world. But I'm saying, like, what happens in, in somebody else's bedroom is that's yeah, what I'm saying. But it's not all sexuality. I mean, uh, it's not oh. all sexual. It's Sexuality is not. not all sexual, you know. That's what I thought the gay pride was and all that. Based it on their sex. I mean, I can see your point. It, it right. is a third grade ca- classroom. It's third grade? Uh, oh, Lord. It is a third grade pla- classroom. So I, I understand your point in some way. But I also understand that I, I think she was just I think she was just joking when she said that. But people are <coughs> it and left with it <coughs> and are trying to get her fired. Because they feel like she was disrespecting the American flag. Oh, okay. See, I didn't. I, I I feel that because I was not one of the ones that supported Kaepernick from kneeling during. I know. The, you we know. Have opposing opinions. Yeah, I don't think he should have kneeled because that's the country. That's like that didn't have nothing to do with the the football game, the protest. Like I said, if he wanted to protest, he should have went to the in front of the the steps of the um the courthouse or the police station and did that. He had to do that. I know it's about he needed to do it for. That's the time he had, and yeah, you know how I feel. I, I think feel, I feel like that was his platform, and he used it. Yeah, but he could have used it. Took a like after the game, march down to the what you call it, do that instead of messing during the game. That's why I never. But he did it before kneel. the game. It wasn't so I, during the game. So this whole thing about the the pride flag in the classroom is like I don't know, like. I feel torn because. I feel <coughs> the, the only thing is, is that like I was See, saying, I need to stop smoking. Huh? Uh, the, the flags are fighting in your throat. Yeah, the flags are fighting in my throat. Say that four times <laughs> fast. The flags are fighting in my throat. The, um, yeah. Like I was saying, it's just that I understand how she feels about the flag right now. Right. I mean, yeah. As I proud like, as I am. Represent. As proud as I am to be in a military family, I understand how she feels right now because racist people have made the American flag an instrument of hate. Right. 
So it is kind of a hard situation to have a flag up right now. But I'm saying, do you want somebody teaching your children in school about the pride flag? Me, personally? Yeah. You're asking the wrong one because, yes, because I want everybody to know that you are that you are equal. Yeah, I mean, we can do that at home, though. I'm saying, is it they right? The, the, like, what if we wanted to wait a year or two to tell our children about that stuff? And I think it's part of natural life. It is. But I'm saying, at school, you must be learning about... You know, I don't know. I ain't go if to school. If there was that a much. Turkish flag or a Brazilian flag, they'd be like, "Hey, that's the, the country just, of Brazil." It's, it's just a symbol of that to me. I don't think that's like necessarily drilling uh, allegiance to Turkey to me. But they they pledge allegiance to the pride flag. That's what she wanted them to do. She was joking that day. We she can't tell if she's joking now. You see? Okay. So you see what she had on? She had on her whole little get up. Hold on, what her, her, her clothes? Get up. Up. She had on. She had, uh, shut up. <laughs> She got the flag in there. I mean, she thinks it's funny, man. He like, like, big shout out to her for even having the gall and mitigation. Is that how you say it? No. Mitigation and gall. No. I don't know these words, man. You see, I ain't go it's to school. Okay. Maybe I should have had a flag in my school. Flag. I didn't pledge. <laughs> hey, man, we definitely going to be talking about this Friday right here on this channel, man. I go live every Friday at 9 p.m. We have conversations just like this. Y'all got to come through and highlight us, man. Um my button there. hit that like button the comment button the share button the subscribe button the notification bell all them good buttons you got to hit to get this pimping that i'm putting out when i put it out and like i said we go live every friday at 9 p.m talking about stuff just like this come through and holler at your boy heist man the foe talk that talk ghetto news and opinions with charlene in the background peace